Ah, boy. Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kreitz here. We've got a lot to get to tonight, so let's jump right in. A rivalry matchup on Thursday night out at Stoker. Fruta taking on Grand Junction. Let's get you out there uh, right now. Fruta chooses to receive the ball, but it's the Junction's defense making the first statement of the game, holding the Wildcats to a three and out and getting some good field position out of it as well, and giving the Wildcats a healthy dose of Dominic Carver early on fourth and two, picking up the yardage required, uh, but then on third and nine. Junction going to go to the air. Will Applegate's pass. It's going to fall incomplete here, but nobody around that receiver. A bit of a warning shot there. Uh, fourth down, Fruta's defense going to get the stop they need on the pitch out. It's going to be a turnover on downs, and here the Wildcats do their thing. Bread and butter for them. Corbin Rao just falling forward right there on the keeper. Why is Sharp getting into the action up the gut? Uh, this time, Rao, he's going to roll out. Uh, it decides to keep it himself, and it, the Wildcats just falling forward four to six yards at a time, meat and potatoes type stuff, and here comes the salt and pepper. Mari Wilson coming back against the flow of play there, and here's the gravy. Rao escapes the pocket, going to hit up Luke Bennett for a nice big 15-yard gain right there. Drive camped off by Amari Wilson. Wildcats up 7-0. On the other side, it's Fruta's defense that comes to play. Uh, pass rush gets to Applegate. He's going to try and throw it away, but going to be ruled grounding. A big loss and a big stop for the Cats. And I like it when Fruta runs this play. Corbin Rowell just follows Keen Bessert right up the middle for a nice chunk. Wilson still proving he is hard to bring down. Maybe even more so on this rush in the second quarter on the same drive. Carrying defenders for a nice pickup there. And again, Wilson, he's going to put the cap on this drive, just scampering to the outside, getting into the end zone, 14-0 uh, Wildcats. You start to wonder, is this thing going to go the way most thought it would because the Tigers' next drive does not get fired up the way they would have hoped for. A nice sack there, but hang on. Watch Applegate avoid the rush here. Steps up into the collapsing pocket, lets one fly to a wide-open Carver. How about a 55-yard play to swing that momentum? It's momentum they capitalize on. Applegate going to have a nice touch pass here to Gavin Walsh, makes the catch. He's jacked up for getting into the end zone. Why wouldn't you be, coaches? Beware on that sideline. All of a sudden, it's 14-7. to Wildcats next drive, part of the game of football no one likes to focus on, but happened again tonight. Amari Wilson down after a play. He was down for quite a while, north of 20 minutes waiting for the ambulance. Uh, a good time, as any, to thank the medical trainers out there. You see at D51 games, a lot of those trainers got awfully busy schedules. Uh, a little bit worrying how long it took the ambulance to get to Stoker, but I'm not going to speak on things I don't really know. I do know... I want to wish Omari Wilson a healthy recovery. Fruit is backfield getting shaved down again this year. And this is one of those things it's hard to bounce back from. In fact, it would be Junction finding momentum again off the Aiden Lane interception. Junction would miss the field goal there, making it 14-7 when I hit the road. Let's check the scoreboard. Uh, yeah, Fruit wins their final non-league game of the year, 35-14. Again, Amari Wilson, our thoughts are with you and your family tonight. Derwin, you had a monster softball.